welcome to all myself professor deshmukh ms presenting the theory lectures on vibration and monitoring so what exactly the vibration monitoring uh, it is a simply we can say that is the rotary equipment just like the pumps compressor turbines fans uh, what should be the conditions of this equipment that you can say that and it can be done by means of the uh, set of tools to find out the equipment health uh, continuously means what what is the conditions of the uh, equipment that we have to see and at a predetermined interval that can be developed with the vibration in the system means what what should be the actual conditions of the this equipment just like the pumps compressor uh, turbines fan and etc so with the some interval of the time whether it is being uh, working effectively or not that you have to check that is known as what vibration monitoring some of the features of the vibration monitoring uh, features just like the first one permanently mounted probes that we have to uh, use in the case of the vibration monitoring all rotary uh, equipment about the 500 kilowatt that you have to use bentley nevada uh, mix system means what the what of the system is there that should be with the effectiveness uh, shaft vibrations as well as the casing vibrations that we have to monitor provide the real time data for equipment health again the sensors are uh, wirelessly connected to remote condition monitoring systems so these are the some of the features of the uh, vibration monitoring uh, so at the time of monitoring what should be the systems conditions that can be seen with some of the failures that is known as what system failures so just see that uh, what should be the uh, the failure of the things which is being given in the figure so failed bearings uh, which cause a failure again then again broken the fan uh, fan bolt uh, blades then again seize the couplings okay and at the last at the list goes on means what there is something degradation so these are the some of the uh, failures of the components because of this this the system uh, may failure now what are the uh, the a technique or against methods to minimize uh, failures so balance and align the machines uh, some of the conditions where uh, we see that there is unbalanced masses which create the progressiveness towards the um, failure and uh, in order to the minimize this condition we have to balance and align the machines then again improve the maintenance practices we, when we are uh, maintaining uh, maintenance is uh, done with some regular interval the machines will operate with a uh, with uh, good performance we can say that again the clean the um, lubricants okay uh, now what are the uh, reduce to the impact what should be the uh, the impact will be reduced to avoid the unscheduled uh, repairs okay stop secondary damage and save the things so if we are man minimizing this failure something impact will be uh, reduce by this techniques uh, breakdown maintenance so breakdown maintenance it's quite easier one uh, let's see uh, it is also known as run to failure so what should be the the stages of the machines that can be seen from start up of the running uh, to the failure uh, remains common practice in many uh, places so these are the common practices that you have followed in order to maintain the machines then budgeted and accepted cost uh, cost of the operations so what should be the maintenance cost that you have to see uh, what are the disadvantages the secondary cost of the failure okay is high breakdown maintenance means what after the breakage we have to maintain again the system to original conditions so so the, the secondary cost required for the uh, the failure repair or you can say the goes to its original conditions it having some costlier then again high uh, down time so this time will be high one then again large spare parts inventory so if the failure is there means what there is a maximum failure and which causes the uh, much more parts in the inventory then again worker safety issues so during the breakdown the, it may damage the worker again preventive maintenance okay 
Preventive means what? Uh, before the, uh, the failure, you have to make the plan. That is again, it is known as what? Plan maintenance. There is a, uh, again, historical maintenance, periodic maintenance and uh, calendar based maintenance. This is again the name. And the most common maintenance practice today, this uh, one we can say the preventive. The prevention is uh, better than cure that uh, for the health again. So the assume that there is all machines are failing the time. Okay, so these are the, some assumptions that we put for the preventive maintenance. And again, you perform maintenance before it fails. Just like when uh, will it fail and will, why will it f uh, fail. So these are the two question marks that you have to ask during this preventive maintenance. Then again, uh, predictive maintenance. Uh, means what is quite easier one. If uh, it ain't broke, don't fix it. So what exactly? It is called as condition-based maintenance. Depending upon the situations, depending upon the condition available at the time that you have to maintain, that maintenance called as what? Pre, uh, detective, predictive uh, maintenance means we have to predict the things. Predict when the machines will fail. Repair it when most convenient. Repair, replace and only the component that are required. Intelligently assess the risk. So these are the comes under the predictive maintenance. Uh, so what are the advantages of the predictive maintenance? Perform the condition monitoring, determine the health status, predict the failure mode and act accordingly. Uh, look at the graph here. The graph shows that first condition that is okay, then again we, we have to got the warning uh, that something is goes wrong and after that we have to repair. So this is the, the uh, stages that you have to follow during the predictive maintenance. Advantages are there some uh, no surprise downtime, okay? No unexpected failures. Unexpected failure we may not got because of the warning we got and during that we have to repair the things. So no secondary damage, required uh, advantage so we can say that. All the maintenance are planned or is planned and sounds great. So, means what there is a no, maintain, no uh, we can say damage or failure. The sound will be uh, just like the uh, good for forming machines. Uh, proactive maintenance. Some of the sentences that is fix it once, fix it right. It is also known as what reliability center maintenance and uh, precision maintenance. Means what the change in the machine uh, design, purchasing maintenance procedure to reduce the failures and the increase machine reliability. Again, it comes under the precision balancing or the laser alignment. So these are the examples of the pre-active maintenance. So this is all about your uh, the vibration monitoring techniques that we have to use.